Crusader Kings. Oh, that's not very PG at all. Can we like rename that something like Happy Friendly Men Go to the Middle East for a Good Old Time? You know, I know you guys have been waiting for CK2 for a long ass time, but I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Prepare to be disappointed at my skills in CK2. I'm, I'm just not that good at the whole inbreeding and intermarriage relations, all of the, you know, espionage. It's just not me. You know, for a game about managing relationships, the surprising amount of people that play these map games are, uh, Special, special, special need. Just a lack me. So the problem I have with CK2 is every time I learn the game, I don't play it for like half a year, and then there's 10 million different DLCs out. So once again, I've got no idea what I'm looking at. You know, one thing I'm pretty certain about though is last time I played, I don't remember there being an India in the game, especially one that looks like it's been through several strokes. Is this intentional? Is this loss? You know, Mr. Pope, that mustache doesn't really say holy leader of the Catholic Church as much as it says you're going to fuck my sister in the back of your Mustang and never call her back. One thing I do know about in CK2 though is that you can actually customize your own leaders, which is actually a really good idea. You know, in popular culture, kings and queens are always represented being really godlike, very glowy, beautiful people that could shit gold. But realistically, King Charles II of Spain was so inbred during his autopsy, the physician stated his body did not contain a single drop of blood, his heart was the size of a peppercorn, his lungs corroded, his intestines rotten and gangrenous, he had one nuts black as coal and his head was full of water. And you know what? Don't even get me started on Henry VIII. Kind of just looks like a fat hamster, doesn't he? So if I'm playing in Greece, I'm gonna need a Greek name. What's a Greek name? Sir Spaghetti 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 us! Oh yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and make him a bog armor list. I don't know what the hell a bog armor list is, but I'm pretty sure it's a class you can take in Harry Potter land. So yeah, what I'm getting at is I just want to make a realistic medieval ruler. I don't want to make this godlike guy a- Yeah, sure, okay, I made him a Chinese bog armor list, but that doesn't- That's realistic, all right? They existed. Yeah, I don't think there's ever been a Chinese bog armor list before. Right, so if I was a Chinese bog armor list duke in Greece, would I be a dwarf? I probably would- would be a dwarf, I won't lie. Um, what else would I be? Uh, oh, I'd be a really attractive looking Chinese Bogomolus dwarf too. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably be slow too. That one makes sense. Inbred? Yeah, most of them were back then, unfortunately. They like to just, you know, bang each other's sisters and cousins like it was no one's business. And you know what? I like to bang too. Okay, if you heard the one about the really attractive Chinese dwarf that was practicing Pagolomy in Greece and he became a duke, and guess what? Incredibly inbred, really horny, and he walked into a bar and got burned at the stake because it's Greece in, um, you know, in the Middle Evil times. They, they probably weren't used to seeing dwarf Chinese people. Yeah, I don't know what the law is on how this Chinese guy ended up in Anatolia, but you know what? It's CK2. I'm gonna be confused by a lot more than that. Ah, oh, why doesn't Disney make an animated film about the Chinese dwarf that married a German princess? I feel like that'd be right up their alley. I just noticed, because my wife's Catholic, I can go ahead and secretly convert to Catholic, which was, I don't know if that's worse than Bogolomy in terms of uh, people hating me, but sure, why not? But then people are gonna be like, oh, Spagolomy on Moss? Oh, he He's a dirty Pagolomist. Oh god, that guy's gross when secretly I'm Catholic. I've got no idea who this is, but you know what? I'll go ahead and make a move. Oh wait, she's 16, I am 43. Uh, sure. Well, Spagolomist, good thing the FBI didn't exist back then, because you'd be in prison right now. Oh wait, never mind, the FBI does exist back then. It's actually her husband, and uh, he, he kind of knows about the deed. I mean, if anyone's going to be questioning God, it is probably the Chinese dwarf Pagolomist that secretly converted to Catholicism. Uh, yeah, dude, I, I love Jesus. Yeah, I, I, I love Jesus. Jesus, it's, yeah, I love him. Definitely, I love Jesus. Yeah, realistically, I'm not a Bogolomist secret Catholic. I, I, I actually converted to Satanism quite a while back, so, uh, yeah. Hell Satan! Oh, god damn, that 16-year-old had a baby, and, uh, oh, I, got, I got a 
really good name for it. Don't worry, here we go. Oh, what? If I knew joining the Satanist gave me a cool hood, I would have been in there weeks ago. Uh, apparently, me trying to seduce my own wife is incredibly taboo and there's going to lead to a big scandal. So, uh, clearly, people are so used to me banging other people's wives that the thought that I actually banged my own is quite the topic of conversation. Ah, uh, just Chinese dwarf things like, you know, desecrating a temple and killing everyone that lives inside. Ah, uh, ask my wife if she wanted to join my Satan cult. Apparently not. So in revenge, I spit in her coffee and now she has the flu. <laughs> Take that. Okay, so the only other Chinese guy in my cabinet may or may not have messed up with my wife's surgery or whatever. And I, you know, he's my Chinese bro, man. I'm not gonna you punish him for that. I don't even like my wife that much anyway. Woozy is his be He's the best guy around. Ah, uh, yeah, so I tried to arrest my wife. Yeah, she ran away. Um, damn. Uh, whoops, I may or may not have just banged the, uh, Byzantine Emperor's wife. Um. Funnily enough, I have noticed that his wife is, um, he's, he's also the heir because that, that is his daughter. He's married to his daughter. Oh, hey, ISP, what are you up to? Oh, not much. Just about to sacrifice this mayor to Satan, because why not? I mean, if you had the option to castrate a bishop, I feel like you'd all take it too. Oh, I think I might have dabbled in the dark arts a little bit too much. Just got possessed by a dark entity. Uh, I don't think my guy's feeling too well. He just, uh, he just killed, killed a dog. What the hell? Yeah, after the Byzantine Emperor found out about the whole dog killing thing, I, 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 they, they were a bit suspicious of what was going on, so, um, he, yeah, he's dead. Uh, thankfully, we've got an heir, though. Oh, um, never mind, my bad. Uh, I had an heir, but then he died, and now we're moving on to the next heir, so good thing I've got a few of them laying around. Right, first things first, you're going to have to marry your mother. I know, sounds pretty crazy, but it's just what your dad would have wanted. So, uh, what's it with the fact my guy's finally of age, married his mum, and now suddenly my mother's depressed? What the hell is that all about? Uh, just like my father, I also banged the, <laughs> the Emperor's wife yet again. You know, so I thought marrying my mum might be a bit too weird, so I went ahead, divorced her, and instead married my sister. And guess what, guys? She's pregnant. Ah, well, my mum didn't take that divorce too well. She, uh, she, she's dead. Oh, so my sister wife got pregnant while I was away, hey? Well, I'll see about that. Ah, you see, I fought it over and I cannot be the father of my sister wife, oops, baby. Ah, uh, so the baby's been born and, uh, I'm not entirely sure if it's mine or not. There's not really any way to tell, but the fact that she's Chinese might or might not be proof that there is, she is mine unless woozies. <gasps> Woozy! There you go. I'm, I'm just going to marry her after someone in Ethiopia so I never have to worry about her again. Oh my god. The plot thickens. Oh dear, it looks like my wife's sister appears to have died in an, a manure explosion. Jeez, how, how, jeez, I had nothing to do with me. I didn't know manure was that explosive. As you lie sleeping in the courtyard, you are suddenly waked by the sun. You rise to the man to dismount, but you explain that he is a physician of a renowned skill. <gasps> yes, I will have the horse. Ah, perfect. Horse MD, the court physician. Nice. And you know what? I can't think of anyone better to make master of the horse, too. Ah, so I can do tainted touch on the Byzantine Emperor, eh? Ah, uh, I, I just gave him the flu. That, I was kind of expecting something a bit more dramatic, but the, I guess the flu will do. I don't know when it happened, but my whole council is now filled with Chinese people. And a horse! Oh damn, my son's ill, but thankfully, I've got just the guy for this one. After being skillfully treated by court physician Horse MD, my son is feeling much better. I shall personally praise Horse MD to the court. Horse MD enters the room with a long face. He fears you're in the early stages of gout, a condition that causes lameness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Horse MD, you're the best. Horse MD turned his back and suddenly kicked you full in the chest. Ah, plus two health. Horse MD lowered his hand into the bucket he brought your chambers. When he pulled it out again, a little fish was... Wait a second. You have hands? How do... You're the best horse ever. Of course I'll eat that fish. Oh. Ah. Uh, um. Shouldn't have eaten the fish. I, I don't think I should have eaten the fish. Oh, 
Good news is, though, the horse is going to be my regent. That's a shame. Apparently, I can't recruit Horse MD to become a part of Satan's cult because he's not a sinner. Horse MD would never do anything wrong, except the time he killed my dad. <gasps> no! <gasps> no! Oh, God, no! Horse MD! He died! May or may not have eaten him. 